Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing okay. And for this video, I'm going to be doing an update video for my centipedes. Without further ado, let's get straight into this one. Alright guys, so to start I figured I'd do an update on the uh, centipede that you guys have not seen in quite some time now, going a while back since I last made a video for this guy. And that is my Rysetta laundry piece, the African Longtail Centipede. And I uh, recently rehoused this guy into uh, the cube enclosure to match my uh, Assassin Bugs enclosure. And it was originally for my uh, Skullpender Heroes cast and accepts, but we'll get to what happened to him later. But anyways guys, I did handle the centipede when I rehoused it yesterday, and here's a quick pic of that. And that felt extremely rewarding because it's something that I've never done before, and it didn't bite or anything, and it was just a really great feeling because um, centipedes, they get quite a bad rap as animals that will bite you no matter what, so... It was a great feeling to have a centipede crawling on my arm and not really biting me or showing any defensiveness towards me. And it was super rewarding, guys, so... Very exciting moment for me. And I also got a uh, clip of this guy feeding, or a clip of uh, this guy eating when I rehouse him, so I'll show you guys that right now. Alright, so as you can see guys, I've taken the lid off real quick, and even after uh, just a day of being in this enclosure, it's already started to burrow, as you can see there's a tunnel going down there, and uh, what I'm going to do guys, really quickly, is see if I can get some quick footage of this guy for you, so let me take the bark out, oh, there it goes, <laughs> don't know if you guys can see it darted right back down into the hole. You see its feet moving around a little bit and part of its leg just there. But yeah, these centipedes, they don't really like the light, especially this one because it is a burrowing species, so thought I'd try to get some quick footage of you guys, but yeah, that lasted milliseconds. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let's put this guy's bark back and go on to the casting accepts. And I figured I'd show you guys this real quick, that its head is, uh, you can see its head through the tunnel that it dug there. Very cool animal, guys. All right, everyone, well, let's move on to the next animal. And here is my Skullpender Heroes Castanoseps enclosure. And as you can see, the peat is not in here. And that is because it unfortunately passed away. Um, the reason it passed away it was because of a bad molt. And what happened was uh, the centipede, when they molt, they um, the skin first splits around their head and they basically just wiggle out of their old exoskeleton. So what happened with this centipede, guys, is that it was molting and the old exoskeleton tightened up around the centipede and it got stuck in its molt and sadly passed away. And this, I believe, is what is known as belting. And it's almost always fatal to the centipede unless you save it which unfortunately I had realized this too late. Uh, 
really sucks because I paid $110 for this peed and it didn't live too long. Uh, really gutted by this, guys. But anyways, guys, I'm sorry I had to end the video on such a bad note, but I still hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.